This is breaking news now from today's TMJ4. Breaking right now at 10, a surprise October tornado. Small but destructive. This video from Madison's east side. You can see trees are down, homes and businesses have some damage, and tonight power is still out for many people. Good evening, I'm Katie Crowther. A whole lot of cleanup going on tonight in two communities just 10 miles apart. The tornado touched down in Madison just after 5 o'clock this evening. A short time later, it's touched down in Sun Prairie. Ben Jordan has been gathering the latest on damage in both of those areas. He's live in Madison with the very latest. Ben. Katie, we've spent several hours touring the damage in Sun Prairie and right here in East in uh, Madison, right here along East Washington is where we are right now. This is about the worst damage we have seen so far. Right behind me is a metal roof that came off of an auto electric shop. You can see it's just the debris is scattered all over the place surrounding this vehicle and the debris wraps around the back of this building. In the front of the building, you can actually see a billboard that was torn down. Plenty of damage throughout here. Here is a look at a neighborhood that wasn't missed about a mile away. The sound of chainsaws filled this Madison neighborhood just off East Washington, mere hours after what appears to be a direct hit from a possible tornado. I did see very excessive winds, nothing I've ever seen in my life. Deborah Higgins was inside her living room when the funnel plowed through. I heard like a scratching noise, so I suddenly got up. She took cover in her basement. Were you expecting a tornado when it came? No, there was no news about weather being bad. Higgins came outside to dozens of downed trees and power lines in the area. A closer look shows fences flattened, cars covered in debris, and crews here to help. The family next door dealing with an even bigger problem. It looks devastating. Jose Lazo says his family was out when the storm rolled through. They came home to find the roof sinking in with a hole in their bathroom ceiling. The shingles are gone, the gutters are broken, and the fence is busted. Viewer cell phone video before dusk shows damage more clearly. Dozens of trees flattened along East Washington. Just northeast in Sun Prairie, witnesses say the potential tornado continues its path, briefly touching down at a few spots, including this intersection where a streetlight pole came crashing down. Another spun around 180 degrees. Back in Madison, residents say they have a long day of cleanup ahead, but they're keeping things in perspective. Well, I do know that I spoke to a lot of my neighbors. Everybody was safe. Praise God. And the Madison Fire Department reports roughly 600 people are still without power tonight. We've seen several crews working to take care of that problem tonight. Live on Madison's east side, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4. All right, glad no one was hurt. Thanks, Ben.